Okay, here we are. This is a Sears Craftsman tractor. It's older tractor from the 90s. Has the Kohler Magnum 18 and the M18 motor in it. Most of you are probably familiar with what they use. These automotive style plunger fuel pumps on them. Ran off the cam. It's like an automobile would. And of course, these are non-existent pretty much as an actual Kohler part, unless you are willing to pay up a lot of money. If there's one out there, rebuild kits I think are 60 bucks right now, if you can even find one for them. <clears throat> so in your place, we have these glorious made in China cheap pumps. So this was pump number two. I ordered one, I think it was $11. So I ordered one, I got it, put it on, it wouldn't work. Primed it, did everything, would not work. Let the seller know, so he sent me a second one. Exactly the same thing. Would not work. So it's easy on overhead valve motors to put a fitting in a valve cover so you can put a vacuum pulse pump on. But these flathead motors, they don't have that luxury. Intakes are cast on these, so you, I don't really want to drill one of these to try to put a vacuum fitting in. So if you look down in here, right here, this is my second Chinese pump that didn't work. So what I did was I took all the guts out of it. You know, there's the plunger, the diaphragm, the valve. I just stripped it out on the inside so it's nothing but a hollow cavity. And right here, I hooked the vacuum hose on it. Comes up here and goes to this pulse pump. Now that would have been the fuel inlet on the fuel outlet, I just put a plug on it. That's all you have to do with that. This is my fuel line up from the tank, my fuel line out here through the carburetor. Works like a champ. Let's see if I can start this thing up, I'm going to have to set you down here. throttle response. So all you have to do to convert these over without drilling any other holes in the crankcase, in the intake manifold, anywhere else to get vacuum is to use your old mechanical fuel pump that's shot. Just gut it out so it's a hollow cavity, put it back together, reinstall it, and run a vacuum hose out. Run that right up to your pulse pump. <clears throat> I'll this is just an Amazon pump. I'll, I'll put in the uh, remarks on the video what pump number this was. Um, the biggest thing was to get one with large enough fittings for your 5 16 hoses. I think this one was a 7 millimeter fitting. But I'll put that number <clears throat> in the uh, remarks so you can take a look at that. So there you have it. You can make them run and get rid of these failure Chinese pumps and these non-existent high dollar Kohler pumps and just run them on a pulse pump. I'll probably make a little bracket here, <clears throat> strap bracket to hold this in place and shorten up the hoses a little bit on it. This was just my mock-up to make sure we can make it work so it gets plenty of a pulse signal. So there you have it. Works like a champ. Nice easy conversion. And I guess the other thing I can talk about with this is I could have put an electric pump on this. And I've seen them where people mount them up front here and they're able to draw up those pumps. They're usually designed to push, so you would have had to mount it back here but near the tank. After I'm wiring to it, uh, I would have put a fuse in it. Uh, you have to scrounge here then and find a ignition only hot, interrupt your wires to wire it in, or you can wire it to a switch. So it just seems like a whole lot of work to go with the electric when you can make a pulse pump work this easily. And cheaper. Alright, there you go. That's uh, the last of the videos here. I may make a little short one after I get it all put back together show it running. Alright, there's a tractor back together. See, this is a 1991. I bought this one new. Still in pretty good shape. I use it for my backup tractor in case something happens to my primary, but I want to keep it in running order. 
So I just have this wire tied on right now. I'm going to make a bracket to come off of here, run over under this so I can bolt it down. It would probably be okay just like it is, but I'll bolt it down to a bracket. Um, starts fantastic, works good. is all together. Um, I didn't go into too much detail on taking these old pumps apart. They're just four screws on the top. Take those apart and it splits apart. Your diaphragm, it'll be hooked like this underneath of here. You can just twist it and take it loose from this and it comes right out the top. Um, the pin just comes out. These little holder tabs are, are pressed inside the pump. They just slide out and you can pull everything out for the plunger and get it out of your way. Um, I just took an air hose and blew this loose. This is the top part of the pump. You'll see it inside the upper part of the housing right here. It'll just pop right out. Just put some air on one of the inlets. It'll, it'll pop it out. You may have to pry it a little bit, but it just comes right out. Uh, you could take another piece of rubber like this if you wanted to to make the gasket for in here, or you could just cut the center of the diaphragm out and use this piece of rubber here. Once you get it all gutted out, Put your gasket back in it, four uh, screws in it, put it back together, you're ready to go. Bolt that up to your motor. Like I said, I took a plug, put on here. Uh, let's see, just a little rubber plug. Just like these right here. Just a little rubber plug. I plugged the back one. I didn't need that anymore. This one's the one I put my hose on, which is right here. That's my vacuum pulse. So there you go, you get rid of those mechanical pumps, put a vacuum pulse pump on it, it's pretty reliable, work a long time. I like to mount it up a little bit so any oil vapors that come out of here will drain back down, go back down into the, uh, into the engine. So there you have it, easy way to convert these over. You don't have to drill any, anything for a vacuum port into the cast iron block on these, aluminum blocks on them or into the cast intake manifolds. There's no other ports to pick up anywhere in the carburetor, so you have to achieve a, a vacuum source somewhere. This seems to be the easiest way. All right, I'll put uh, information on what pump I use on this in the description of the video. All right, here's the follow-up. I've mowed the lawn now twice with this tractor, about two acres, and it's performed very well just as it did with the original fuel pump. This will be the final on this. I did make a little metal bracket here. It just bolts through the existing bracket. Just comes across and another piece of metal over here bolts the fuel pump down. I put a little insulator pad underneath it here <clears throat> just to use a, it's like a gasket material. Just cut that out for a little heat sink. Stops any heat really from soaking into the bottom of the fuel pump. But it works real good. So we're happy with the turnout of this, uh, the cheap alternative to buying the mechanical fuel pumps for these is a vacuum pump. Okay, I'll show you how the tractor starts. Get in the tractor here. So good. Throttle down. Well, he starts to run with his trunk. I'll get off the track here now. There you have it.